Today we'll demo the CloudPonix app, used to control both the Growbox automated grow cabinet as well as the GrowPro grow controller. Once you open the app for the first time, it will ask you to pair your app with the Growbox or GrowPro. Today we'll pair to one of the demo units we have by inserting the ID and unique key of the Growbox we're pairing to. To get things started, we'll need to create a new Grow. After reading and accepting the disclaimer, we start by naming our new project. This one we'll call Green Babies. Next, we'll select what grow recipe to use by choosing the strain we'll be planting. There's a list of over 50 popular strains and counting, but if your strain is not available, you can use one of our three generic recipes, Indica, Sativa, and Hybrid. Today we'll be growing Northern Light, a classic strain. We'll grow six plants, and then we'll all set, ready to put our seeds to germinate. The first screen in the app is the task section, which helps the grower achieve the best results by following a set of simple and easy tasks anyone can follow. The first, the first task the user needs to do is put the seeds to germinate and wait for them to sprout. Once they have sprouted, the user lets the system know and that will start day one of the grow process, which is usually between 80 and 100 days. A couple of examples of tasks the grower should follow the first one is an optional task, which is to spray their plants with water during the vegging period. The second is a core task, which is to prune the bottom three branches to improve air circulation, as well as maximizing yields by concentrating the plant's energy on the top buds that are closer to the light. The next screen is the stats section, where the user can monitor in real time what the most important parameters in the growing environment are, air temperature, humidity, nutrient concentration, pH, and water temperature. This screen also shows the user if their unit is connected to the internet, if the light is on or off, and whether they need to refill their reserve water tank. This is a good example of a grow box that has balanced all the crucial aspects to optimize conditions for a perfect grow. The button in the middle of the lower section is used to open the lock in the grow box to make sure no one else can open the door. Next up is the settings section, where the user can change the selected settings during the creation of the grow, as well as fine tune the nutrient concentrations and selecting what mode to use, grow, flush, drying, test, and idle. The advanced section is where the user selects what time the lights turn on, while the duration depends on the grow recipe and whether the plants are in their vegging or flowering stages. Let's set the timer to turn on at 4.20 p.m. The user can pair to a different grow box or grow pro here. Finally, the user can calibrate their pH and EC sensors, as well as calibrate their unit to adjust the nutrient balance to their fresh water as well. The final button is used to contact our customer support team.